Hello sweet friends, this is Gina. Welcome to the Rebookery channel. Today I'm going to work in my junk binder Christmas journal and I am going to work on the inside pages and we'll see how much um, we can get done. So this is what we did in the first video and you can, I'll link it below and you can go back and watch how we put this together. Now what we're going to do is work on putting in pages and again we're not, or at least I'm not, memory keeping right now. I'm not putting in photos. I'm just setting up the bones of this so that when December rolls around or when the holidays roll around, I can just slip my photos and my stories in and do a little bit of embellishing. So to me, whenever I make a journal, this is like the best part. This is the part that I love because I love just putting pages together and getting creative with how um, to make pages and all kinds of, you know, interesting, interactive things. So I'm going to try to do some of that with this journal. So if you remember, we're going to use the index. So in the journal kits that you buy, um, for me, for my shop, if you bought the journal kit, you'll get five of these index cards. And so we want to use these index cards as our template because we're going to hole punch so the rest of the pages can fit inside. So in your kit, you also get the complete story of whatever golden book you um, had that goes with the cookbook. So this one is Santa's Toy Shops, one of my favorites. And so I'm gonna show you how to punch the holes. So it just so happens that the golden books will fit perfectly with your five holes, so I just line them up. Let me make sure I'm in view here. I'm going to line them up so that I have equal amounts over here and equal amounts over here. And then I actually move it up just a smidge. And then take my hole punch. And I really like this hole punch. I tried this with my crocodile, like a really big fancy hole punch, and I didn't like it. And the reason why I didn't like it is because I couldn't see the holes that I was punching. But because of the way this one is, it's got this piece right here where you can actually see through it. And then I could see my holes and I could see where I was punching. So now I have my five holes. And so I can slip this in here. And again, the story is completely intact. So if you buy the kit from my shop, you will get the entire story. You can leave it as is um, and have it be at the back of the book or at the front of the book so you could read it. You could put the pages in between your pages. You could even use these as embellishments if you want or scrapbook right on top of these pages. I am a person that loves to have the story. So I'm gonna probably keep the story intact. However, um, whoever purchases this journal can absolutely do whatever they want with it. So I'm going to go ahead and punch the holes. Now I can punch about three pieces of paper at a time, sometimes maybe not. And it depends on how sharp my hole punch is too. So my hole punch is getting dull. I take it um, to my kitchen and I punch some holes in some foil. Make sure. And another thing about doing multiple pages at a time, it's really easy to get off on your lining up. So I try not to do multiple pages very often. I will mess up because um, that's just the way things work for me. I mess up anything that can be messed up. So there is the story. So now the story is intact. It's ready to go. So the other stuff I'm going to put in um, this binder, I think what I'll go ahead and do is put the index pages and the recipe pages. So 
So in your kit, you will have a piece of some like brocade fabric um, and it's got some sequins and stuff on it. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a little tab right here and I'm just gonna use a stapler. Another thing I'm gonna do today is I think I'm going to take the um, spliced piece of the front cover and I think I'm gonna go ahead and back it and turn it into a usable page. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda get rid of some of this bulk I don't want to tear too much because I don't want to tear through to the paper. And then I'm going to find something that I want to back this on. So I think what I'm going to do is take one of the book pages, because I had some book pages, and I think I'm going to back this onto here. So you can use glue glue stick, tape runner. I'm gonna use a glue stick because my glue sticks, the ones I use are really good at sticking and it's not gonna be wet. Although you could use some liquid glue if you want. And I wanna make sure I spread my glue evenly this up and I'm going to use, I have a brayer, I have a couple of brayers and I love them for flattening out papers. Okay, so then I'm just going to trim this off. And then there's a little overage right here and I kind of like that and it'll add a little bit of strength to this edge. So I'm going to go ahead and just fold that over. There we go. All right. So I am loving this. Now, if you have a sewing machine, you could take this over to your sewing machine. If you don't have a sewing machine, no big deal. If you wanted to put a tab on here, you could easily um, staple it on just like we did. This, I'm gonna cut this trim. And I'm gonna run this over to my sewing machine. But if you have a stapler, just go ahead and staple it. If you don't have a stapler, you could glue it. So I stitched it. And if you have a sewing machine, one of the things you can do, if you're worried about your holes ripping out, um, maybe for pa paper's kind of fragile, I always just stitch a straight stitch right there along the edge, and it just gives a little extra strength um, when I go to put those holes in. But you definitely do not have to do that. That's totally up to you if you want to. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna punch my holes. So I'm gonna line it up. And let's see if it fits. Yep, it does. So for the calendar page, the way it's gonna work because the calendar flips up, you need to decide, do you want the train image upside down or do you want the calendar upside down? Because one of them is going to be upside down. So for me, I'm gonna go with train right side up, which means calendar upside down. And what we're gonna do on this is we're gonna make an interactive, I'm gonna get a different, there we go. We're gonna make an interactive fold out. So I'm just gonna take and I'm 
going to punch my holes. And I have my windows open so you can hear the kiddos outside playing, so hopefully it's not too annoying. Okay, so I've punched my holes. And then what I wanna do is I wanna make this a fold out. So while I've got my template in place, I'm just going to fold this over until it hits that tab, put a crease right here, and then boom, I've got the perfect size of a fold out. And you can fold it this way or you can fold it back that way, whichever way you want. So now, this is a page. Add an embellishment if I like. I kinda like this blue up against the um, that black and white. And so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to make this into a tab. And I'm just gonna fold the card like that. And then I'm just going to staple it like this. I wanted to get fancy. Put a hole in it. Some of my yarn that's in the kit, or if you have some string. I'm just gonna do a simple knot, kind of a loose knot. There we go. Now let's do our pocket pages. So I have two pocket pages that I've already made for you and I have actually sewn them. So all you have to do is line them up, punch your holes, and one opens from the top so this one opens from the top and one opens from the side. The sheet music one opens from the side. Coloring book page is not a pocket because it's such thin paper and it's so old. So this is just going to be a page. So what I'm gonna do on this one is just go ahead and punch my holes. So in the um, kit, there is a Christmas card, fairly new Christmas card, and it's offset. You can see that it's cut. The reason why I did this is because we're gonna turn this into a page that folds out. So take whichever is the longer side, and this time you can do, you can move your holes down to the edge, you can move them up to the edge, or you can go in the middle. I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna go in the middle. So I'm gonna line them up, and this time I'm only punching three holes, because I went in the middle. And so now, when I put that in, it folds out, and I have the Christmas card on the back side. So you could, this can actually be um, a layout, and then this could be, you could put a photo here, you could put um, some wrapping paper here, so. Let's look at what we have so far. Okay, so we got our index page with our tab. We've got the cover that we glued to a piece of, of Christmas book paper. We've got our top loading pocket. We've got our side loading pocket. We have a Christmas card. We have our coloring book pages. Our calendar page. This is where I'm going to stop for today's session, and I'm going to pick back up with the rest of the pages in our next video. Hope you're healthy, hope you're happy, and I hope you do something creative today. Bye!